Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalistSports.com. With all the rain from Hurricane Harvey, now a tropical storm, I figured this would be a good time to talk about having property that has a stream or a creek running through it or near it. Some of the issues with it. And the creek is up. You can tell the sand, this freshly deposited sand, it got up right here. I mean, it, having a creek or a stream running through or near your property, for the property is a double-edged sword. It provides water source. This creek flows year-round. It's never gone dry. Verbal history from, uh, like, my grandparents, great-grandparents. This creek hasn't gone dry in over 100 years. But on the flip side, whenever we get heavy rains, such as now with a hurricane, it can get up a little bit. Also, one of the problems is erosion. Is that we can see from this tree that the slowly eroding this bank it comes around it comes around erodes this but on the flip side is over there it goes eroding into the other property so over there you're gaining property and over here you're losing property so it equals out I mean in the end it all equals out so if you're thinking about buying property <clears throat> that has a creek or a stream going through it find out from the area talk to the people how often does it flood which y'all should what you should know this anyway y'all should know this anyway i mean it's just common sense how often does it flood how high does the water get see these trees wash down i know that for this creek to get out of its bank and go up here that we have to have x amount of water within a certain amount of time see that sand layer that's how high the water's been for it to get, even with Hurricane Harvey, even with Hurricane Harvey, notice how much land still has to go before it gets into the field. And I know that we have to get something like nine hours of rain, I'm sorry, nine inches of rain in an hour, consecutively over several hours, for the water to get up into the field. So this, that's the kind of stuff, so I was asked, somebody was asked, well, Kevin, is, your, is the property going to flush? No, nah, I'm not worried about it. It's just a slow drizzling rain. I have to do a whole lot more than this for it to get up out of the banks. Besides the creek being up, I mean, everything else is fine here. Some people have sent me messages on YouTube. Or uh, asked how things were going. Kevin, how's everything going? And, I mean, everything's going fine. Everything's going fine. Can't complain. My uh, mom and dad are high and dry. My uncle, he got four feet of water in his house. He lives in Baytown. I feel really bad for him. My cousins, I got a couple of cousins that live in Baytown. They got some water in their house. A friend, my daughter, my son used to live in Baytown. They moved. One of her friends sent her a picture from the second floor of a two-story house and the water was up to the balcony of the two-story house. And that is that did not happen in either Hurricane Ike or Hurricane Rita. So what's going on in Houston is of epic, epic proportions. Anyway, guys and gals, stay safe. And I will talk to y'all later.